down, oh sit down, oh sit down, sit down next to me. Sit down, 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 down in sympathy. Hi guys, this is how to play Sit Down by James with just three chords G, A and D. For this song to be able to play along to the record, we're going to need your capo at the second fret. It will sound absolutely fine on its own if you want to sing along to it without a capo. For example, that would sound like... Oh, sit down, oh, sit down, sit down next to me. But that will be slightly too low for the record, so grab your capo if you've got one and move it to the second fret. And your D chord will sound like this. In this song, we've just got one uh, chord sequence repeated for the whole song. So this is perfect if you're super new at these chords. Um, we've got two bars of D major, one of G, and then one of A. So this has got all three chords at this, with this section of songs. And we've got your D once, then again, then a G and an A. All major chords. One more time from the D, playing one strum per bar on beat one. In, two, three, four, D, two, three, D again. Then a G, finally A, and repeat. A one, two, three, four, one. Then a G, G, then an A. Keep that rhythm going. Keep that pattern going. One, two, three, four. A one, two, three, four. G, and then an A. D, two, three, four. D, and a G, and an A. From the top. I sing myself to sleep. A song. From the darkest hour, from the top, a D, two, three, four, D, and a G, then an A. Okay, the next step from this, and we'll slow it down a little more than that, is we want to play every beat. Just down strums, one, two, three, four, for each of the chords that we've just done in that order. For example, D, two, three, four, D, and then your G, and then A. Now this is where the changes that I went through in the introduction to this uh, part video, um, between the D and the G specifically is going to come real in real handy, um, though the G to A can also prove a little tricky. But because we've we've done the A chord before in the previous section of songs, we should be okay with that change. You should be able to have the muscle memory to be able to do it. But D to G, really recommending the uh, the kind of what I call a Noel Gallagher G, um, with your third and little finger down on the thinnest two strings here. First two notes are exactly the same same as any other G. First two fingers, same as any other G you think you'll come across third finger and little finger on the thinnest two strings um, at what we're calling third fret proportionate to that count. So for every beat, that chord change should allow you to do it. If it's a little tricky, just head back to that first video and have another run through it. The chord sequence from the top, strumming on every beat, in. Or one, two, three, four. D, two, three, D again. And then a G to an A, two from the top, a one, two, three, four, head into a G, a G, then an A. From the top, a D, two, three, four, D, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, A. From the top, I sing myself. To sleep, a song 
From the darkest, from the top, secrets I can keep inside of the day. From the top, sit down, oh sit down, oh sit down, sit down next to me. Down, 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 G, and then an A, end on D. Great stuff. For the time being, I really recommend that you try and play along to that with having a sing-along to yourself or playing it along to the record before you try any other strumming pattern that I'm going to show you next. Get those changes solid, get them to a rhythm, Make sure everything's nice and even, and it's, if it's sounding good, then you know you're on the right track. If that's something that you're really comfortable with, we can try adding something called strumming with swing. So what is this strumming with swing so far, okay? So far in this uh, beginner's course, we've covered all downs, counting to uh, splitting a bar into eighth, which I call eighth strumming. So that's down, 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 down to a count of... One and two and three and four. We've also covered down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Which basically sounds the same, but is more economical to be able to strum faster. What this is, is this is pretty much to a completely different grid. But it only applies to strumming when you're doing eighth strumming. So if you're playing on the beats, everything sounds right when you play it on the beat. That's why I really encourage... For every song that you learn, you start off just strum on the beat so that you can count and you know how long you're playing each chord for. From here, we're going to be playing downs and ups, but we're going to be delaying the upstroke. We're going to be moving it a little later. This makes the song sound like there's a bounce to it. Every other strumming pattern we've done so far has basically been to what I, what I like to think of as a grid of one and two and three and four and. So if we listen to that back, everything's really even, everything's completely evenly split. Whereas for this one, it's going to sound like there's a bounce happening. One and two and three and four. Ba-dum, 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 ba-dum. It's a rhythm that you may be really used to hearing in kind of old blues songs and things like that. Your whole and three and four. Ba-dum, ba-dum. Maybe four for that sort of style of music, okay? For this, it's actually really common for your acoustic guitar, singer-songwriter, Noel Gallagher, Neil Young kind of songs. They, they use this an awful lot. It's really common. But to get a handle on it, we're just going to start off doing it on James Sit Down. So this is the, the proper strumming pattern for the song. And we're going to go down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So here we're going to really be doing the one thing that I've told you not to do so far, which is stop your hand moving. Um, so we're going to go down and briefly pause at the bottom. And then when you come up, you go straight back down. One and two and three and four and. Now if you've heard the song, that rhythm, ba bum ba bum ba bum ba bum should be pretty evident to you. If it's not, it's not, it's okay, you can just play to me. But if it is evident to you, then you're way ahead of the game here. You know exactly what's going on and you know where to do it. One um, question can be, when do I actually do that? So if I'm pausing down at the bottom, when do I come back up? Well, just try and make it sound like that rhythm. If it's um, really tricky for you to do, you can do the whole thing on downstrokes if you would like. One, and two, and three, and four, and. Okay, it was, if it sounds correct, then that's totally fine for now. But you're not going to be developing your guitar strumming skills uh, as much as if you did down, up, down, up, down, and kind of force yourself to try and play it right. Sometimes, when we're playing down, up, down, up, down, and it's maybe there's something a little bit wrong. You can't quite put your finger on it, but something's a little bit wrong. It can be that you're just edging to the side of it sounding what we call straight. So there's straight and swing, and when it's straight, everything's even. One and two and three and four and. And when it's swung, it's a one and two and three and four and. 
because we the the offbeat the and has been moved a little a little further back. Um, if it kind of hangs somewhere between the two, so maybe for example, and it's it's not quite swung, but it's not quite straight, then that can start to sound quite odd, but you maybe won't realise it till you till you listen to it back. Um, so if you can record yourself on a phone or sound recorder on your laptop or anything like that and listen to it back. It should sound la like that. And if it's sounding a little more kind of still straight, then it's something that you've not yet got yet. And I would, certainly wouldn't try it to the record. But certainly have a go at it. Just staying on a D chord. And if you could play along to me now, uh, we're going to go down, up, down, just on the D chord. Two, three, four. Down, up, down, up. stop on the D. If you could play along to that and it sounds right, you've got it. Um, let's have a go on the G chord now, just try it on your G chord. Couple of bars, downs and ups with the swing. Two and three and four and down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And then finally your A major chord. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And two and three and four. It's got the real kind of swing of it. And when this is something that you can do, sometimes when you go back to doing the straight ones, they sound a little dull because they're all really rigid. So this can be a lot of fun to learn and it is the, the correct level of, of if you're going for, for these chords, this is the time to, to start getting this swing strumming in where it's appropriate, when you can hear one and two and three and four in the song. Down, up, down, up, down. So let's nice and slow, let's go through all the chords in this song, which just repeat for the whole song, and let's give it a go with swing strumming. One and two and three and four. So D and two and three and D again. Then your G, G, two, three, and an A, two, three. A one, two, and a G, G, two, three, four, one, two, three, one more time, a D, D, and a G, and an A. End on the D there, perfect, okay. If that's something that you're cool at doing, uh, let's just go for that a little bit faster. And also, with these upstrokes, you don't actually have to play every one. It can sound a lot more natural to miss some out. Now, this is something that a lot of beginners are really uncomfortable doing, and they want to be told exactly what to do. And if you're that kind of person, then do every one. It's totally fine. Do every one, and it will always sound right. If you feel like you could miss some out, but keep your strumming hand going, so just for example, that was basically missing some of those strums out at random. I'd certainly try and get the first one of the bar in, the first couple of beats, but towards the end of the bar, if you can just be a little bit looser with, with where you strum them, can sound an awful lot more natural. Let's have a go at trying to do that. We're going to do the same th exercise as before, but a little bit faster. I'll sing along and just see if, you, if that's something that you're able to do. If not, downs and ups every time is totally fine. It will sound good. One and two and three and four. And one and two and three and four. And D again. Then you G, G, and an A. Missing out some ups, G and an A. Oh, sit down, oh, sit down, oh, sit down, sit down next to me. Sit down, 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 down in sympathy. 
Perfect. End it there, and uh, that's how to play Sit Down by James. Try it along to the record, have a sing-along, great song. Um, please subscribe and check out my other videos, certainly in this series. Now you've got all the three chords done, and uh, I'm sure I'll see you again.